give me your argument against uh, that is that is your critique of Islam. Islam means submission to the will of Allah, a doctrine that requires from the individual to become a slave. In my view, is bad. Islam limits the imagination to what you can find in the Quran and to following the example of the Prophet Muhammad. I think that's bad and that's what keeps people in the Islamic world backward. Islam treats women, at least says, subordinates women to men, uh, is obsessed with obedience, calls for the matter of gays, for adulterers, and is therefore very violent and inhuman. Um, all this is in the Quran, all this is in the Hadith, and anywhere that Islamic Sharia or Islamic rule is implemented, you see that these things are carried out. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly Surely there are many versions of Islam, like there are many versions of Christianity, of Judaism, of all major religions. You're That's presenting it as one thing, and it's just obviously not. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains. Islam as a faith, as a doctrine, defined by what's in the Quran and the example of the Prophet Muhammad, and unreformed, unchallenged, is a monolith. I could point to other things in other holy books that are uh, equally offensive. The other holy books, the Old Testament, the Bible, have become almost obsolete. Um, there are no Christians who want to have the Bible replace any constitution in the West, in Western society. The Pope has okay, actually apologized. Whoa, okay, whoa. <laughs> you live in the United States of America. This is a country where evangelical Christianity has ascended uh, to the highest ranks of power, where conservative social values uh, drawn and justified by the Bible are imposed on people every single day. I think you're exaggerating. You're they exaggerating should abortion incredible. doctors in the United States of America. This Homophobia one. is rampant. When abortion doctors in the United States were shot, the federal government reacted to it by going after the perpetrators, putting them on trial and jailing them. When in Iran, two men went after a woman, holding, a woman and a man holding hands and shot them, they were acquitted by the Supreme Court. That is the core difference. Never confuse Islamic Sharia and the Muslims who really mean it with those extremist Christians who live in the United States. Extremist Christians in the United States or any other Western society face the rule of law and are dealt with accordingly. Let's talk about the uh, intervention to bring democracy, quote unquote, uh, increasingly in, in what many people see as an, is in an almost Islamophobic context. There's no Islamophobia. It's a myth. But there's, it's gone. There's no Islamophobia? No. Anywhere in the world? No. I mean... Is there anti-Semitism? It's different. Islam is, there, is, is not a race. Uh, sometimes. We're all racist. Racism mm -hmm. is a universal trait. So is anti-Semitism, by the way. But I want us not to confuse a set of beliefs such as Islam mm -hmm. with ethnicity, such as the hatred against Jews just because they are Jews, or against blacks just because they are black, mm. uh, or against gays just because of, it's something you can't do anything about. Mm -hmm. Whereas Islam is simply a set of beliefs, and it's not Islamophobic to say Islam is incompatible with liberal democracy. Uh, it's not Islamophobic to say, uh, to point to those people who use the Quran and the Hadith to conduct war and to say this is being done in the name of your religion or something about it. That's not Islamophobic. Um, That's fair. North American Muslims. Muslims uh, really feel under siege these days. I don't know if you're aware of this, but 
people don't want to travel because flying is, is, is such a hassle. Uh, people are, are um, North American Muslims are scared to contribute to charities in case they end up on a list somewhere. And they've watched uh, others in their community end up in, in detention for years without ever seeing charges against them, without even ever seeing evidence against them. I mean, you're not aware of these debates. You don't think there's a context of what the war on terror rhetoric does to, to, to a social discourse? That has implications? I think that it's highly exaggerated that Muslims living in America in the West are under siege. If that were the case, we know of groups in history who are under siege. And what they usually do is they would leave. I don't see any American Muslim leaving and going back to any Muslim country. Well, your faith in American democracy is just uh, uh, delightful. It's the best democracy. <laughs> it's yeah. the best place to be. Tell that to the people who believe that there have been a couple of stolen elections that the democracy is completely broken. Oh, I don't tell them, and I tell them, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't have stood by and watched for the democracy to be stolen. My point is not so much when the Democrats are in office, everyone is happy, or when the Republicans are in office, everything is bad. It's that both Republicans and uh, Democrats and the majority of Americans, fortunately, feel that they can run for office, they can get power. As long as you're staggeringly rich totally connected as long and in the as pockets you of your donors you can do anything you want in America in America you can come with no, no penny nothing no money and you can become very wealthy tell me which Muslim country is there a school where they teach you these American cliches is it part of your is it part of your application process that you have to no I'm, sorry. I read, I'm so upset that I'm losing my cards here I can't believe you just said that I read Alex the Tokyo and I read about democracy and I lived in countries that had no democracy, that had no founding fathers, that could not, have not invented or could not resolve. So I don't find myself in the same luxury as you do. You grew up in freedom and you can spit on freedom because you don't know what it is not to have freedom. Oh my fucking God! Ah! 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 Oh! 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 I haven't. I know that there are many things wrong with America, and I know that there are many things that are wrong with Americans, but I still believe it's the best nation in the world. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. I think you're welcome.